his ashes in a container and bring them home, but it sure didn't work out that way. This is Mario Mark Marcoletti, a Sicilian immigrant who worked for the Penn Central Railroad in central Indiana. He died in 2002 at the age of 91, and his family divided up his ashes. Recently, an uncle offered to give Southside resident John Gross part of the ashes while on a trip to Florida. They put them in a tightly sealed jar marked human remains. Gross didn't think he'd have a problem until he ran into a TSA agent at the Orlando airport. They opened up my bag and I told him, please be careful. These are my grandpa's ashes. She picked up the jar. She opened it up. She what, had... what she wasn't supposed to do. I was told later on that she had no right to even open it, that they could have used other devices like an x-ray machine. And so she opened it up, she used her finger and was sifting through it, and then she accidentally spilled it. Gross says about a quarter to a third of the contents spilled on the floor, leaving him frantically trying to gather up as much as he could while anxious passengers waited behind him. And what did the clerk do? She didn't apologize. She started laughing. I was on my hands and knees picking up bone fragments. You know, I couldn't pick up all everything that was lost. I mean, there was a long line behind me. Obviously, TSA can't replace the ashes. So what does Gross want? I want an apology. I want an apology from TSA. I want 